Do you find that there are a lot of homeless veterans in the Hampton Roads area, and do they feel betrayed by the system? More than betrayed. I had a vet, as a matter of fact, I got in a fight with a Navy SEAL at the ER the other day because he went berserk and was attacking the doctor. He was so upset. And so we did a little wrestle thing. And he was drunk, so I won. And I'm an old man, senior citizen. But there's, there's a, when people go to war and you train them to be killers, and then you take all their benefits and they're starving and they're desperate, that's not a good situation. So I've seen some that are very angry and threatening toward the system. And I correct them, say, don't do that, don't go there. But yeah, they're angry and they can't believe that here they've been deserted and they're very verbal about it. Sure. Now, you brought with you today three wonderful portraits. want to make sure you tell us about these three portraits. Um, the first one, I think, is a mother and child. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, first of all, Mary painted these portraits. Oh, wow, and Mary. So that, a lot of times I speak mm -hmm. to a lot of the city councils about the needs in our city. And say homeless and say vets, one thing. But if you show them a picture, it's, a, it's harder for them to deny that they exist. So this first picture is of a woman and her little boy. This is DeMonte, a beautiful little eight-year-old boy, and he lives in one of the churches that lets people stay in them in the wintertime at night. So these are actual homeless that we're These saying. are real homeless people. And so little DeMonte, I was staying in the shelter with him. DeMonte, myself, 30 other men, some of them HIV positive, some of them pedophiles, but we have children staying in the shelters. And so he goes to school because he's eight years old, he changed address 22 times last year as every week he goes from church to church to church and still tries to get back to the same school. And so uh, this is DeMonte. His mother, this beautiful young lady, people say, well, homeless people choose her to make bad choices. When she was three years old, her father took her by the ankles and smashed her head against the wall. So she doesn't talk too plain. And she's been kind of a little bit retarded since she was three. Well, she, when she got to be about 12 or 13, she was raped. And this is her beautiful son that's a product of that rape. And he's a brilliant little child. But he's smarter than his mother. So they're out there foraging for food during the day, trying to survive. Wow. We don't think it's right. Wow. And the next, the next image that we're seeing. Well, these are, are a couple of our homeless vet friends. The first one you see, the one here that's in the hood, this is Ziggy. Ziggy is a Vietnam vet with two bronze stars. And he's got multiple injuries, including pins in his back from injuries and all. And he's got skin disease. He lives under a bridge in Newport News. And in the summertime, I've seen, because everybody has to go to the bathroom right there, there's no facilities. There's no water fountains in Newport News that the public can use. There's no place you can go to the bathroom. You walk about 30 blocks to the bus station, and they won't let you in. The police will arrest you. So they're going to the bathroom out there, and there's flies that are flying from the feces to our decorated vets. Wow. And so that's Ziggy, and he's a precious guy. He's, he wants special prayer right now because the, the pins they put him are coming loose. Oh, he's my in goodness. extreme pain. Oh, my goodness. And our, the last. Okay, this nice guy, this, this is who we call the mayor of Hampton. His, his name is Phil, and they call him the mayor. He's lived outside in an alley there in Hampton for about seven years now. And he is a vet and a really nice guy. And he lives in just a little chair. And he's got a little box next to him. He has two cats he feeds. And he has a little field that he set up. It's like play an army, but it's with dinosaurs and stuff. And they call him the mayor. The police bring him uh, food, you know, and coffee and sandwiches sometimes. But he's lived there for about seven years homeless as a vet. Wow, incredible. You certainly both are very passionate about the work that you do, and if people want to get involved and help you help others, is there a website or a phone number that they can go to so they can find out more, get more information? Yes. Our, we have a website. We have a nonprofit 501c3, and it's fig, like the fruit, figtreehaven.org. Or you can find us in Newport News on Sundays, we're down there with the homeless all day long, and that's on 32nd Street. It's 128 32nd Street. Please come visit us. Or you can call my sweet wife, Mary, who's the artist that painted those paintings, 
and her phone number is? 757-771-4860. Again, the number is 757-771-4860. Jim and Mary, thank you so much for being here today. You have certainly shared some wonderful information about how we can be involved in helping our area's homeless veterans. Thank you, thank Kim. You, Kim. And thank you for watching Joy in Our Town on location at the TVN studio in Virginia Beach. I'm your host, Kim Rankins. Our issue today was homelessness, and our topic was homeless veterans. Joining me today was Jim Rudisill, pastor and assistant director of Fig Tree Haven, and his wife, Mary Rudisill, director of Fig Tree Haven, a nonprofit organization. Until next time, thanks for watching Joy in Our Town. The program has been sponsored by the Trinity Broadcasting Network and made possible by your telethon dollars. Your continual support can keep Joy in Our Town brought to your home every day. So write Joy in Our Town, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711.